And in Denver, a neighborhood was shut down near 4th and Sherman when a suspicious device was found inside a mailbox. It turned out to be a phishing device designed to steal outgoing mail. Joel Hillen reports this is the third such device that has been found in the last week. It's a decades-old scam that uses a rudimentary handmade device to steal your outgoing mail. So the Postal Inspection Service has known about this scheme known as mail theft phishing for dozens of years. This has been around for a long, long time. These so-called phishing devices have been discovered in three locations in the Denver metro area in just the past week. One in the blue collection box at the King Supers on Hawley and Centennial. Another in a box at Sherman and Forth. That forced the neighborhood to shut down for several hours. A third incident at the Inglewood Post Office was caught on surveillance video. The driver of this black Kia can be seen actively fishing for mail. Authorities are hoping you can help them find the driver of that car with Colorado license plate number 095ZKX. The United States Postal Inspection Service says until they have the suspect shut down, bypass these big blue boxes altogether and go inside to send a letter. If you have used one of these blue boxes recently or sent your mail from any blue box in the Denver metro area, it's important to follow up with the intended recipient and make sure they got that mail. And if you spot anything suspicious at a mailbox or on your bank account, immediately call police. In Denver, Joel Hillen, covering Colorado First. You can also report mail theft or mail fraud online. We have that link set up at cbsdenver.com.